Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network. Now, in the last episode we had taken down Fireman and met our new class teacher, Mr. Higsby. And, well, yeah, that's pretty much where we ended off at. Now, what we have to do is talk to the classmates before class starts. So, let's talk with this. Man, that weirdo's gonna be our new teacher? That blows. Should we challenge text to a battle? Uh, yeah, better wait till I can upgrade Gusman, okay? <laughs> Oh, and this one is actually pretty interesting. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. Sure, it's hard to remember these chip codes, but my brother said remember the order and good will come. Well, basically what he's talking about is... Oh, well, yeah, I was about to explain it now. I was virus busting and something really odd happened. What? Well, I had selected three cannons, see? The three chips flashed and changed into a rare chip. I was a little scared at first, of course. The chip, funny, it seemed to return to normal after that. What they're talking about is program advances, and basically what it is is say you take three cannons, one with A, B, and C, or B, C, and D, and once you line them up in that specific order, you'll get a more powerful battleship. But in this game, they didn't, well, I wouldn't say they didn't do them right, but they're not really that amazing. You don't get any, like, cool benefits out of going for it, so at least in this game, I wouldn't recommend trying for them. In later games, you do have to do them all if you're going for 100%, which I plan on doing in the later games once I get to them. But in this game, it's not a big deal, so you won't really be seeing me using many of them, at least for right now. Please don't let today be the day the World 3 takes over. I mean, I don't see why they would, but okay. That Mr. Higsby is sure strange for a teacher. That teacher gives me the creeps, but maybe I'll trade some chips with him anyway. I don't know why you would want to do that, but okay. They used to write on blackboards with this chalk stuff. And then you had to wipe it with a big eraser. Yucky. Then you could just jack in your PET and have your navi erase it. So what, you could just go with something nuts? Look, look, don't talk to me right now. Click, click, click. I'm working on yesterday's homework. Click, click. Well, class is about to start now that we've chatted up with everyone, although I'm pretty sure, hey, the teacher's coming. Pretty sure it would have, you know, gone by sooner. Well, now I'd like to begin the first class, huh? Mr. Higsby, where's Miss Mari? Miss Mari, she was sick and went to the nurse's office, huh? What? Quiet, everyone. First class will be study hall, huh? All right. Don't rejoice just yet. I want you to do all... Ugh. I want you all to do math drills. I'll be checking them later. Shucks. Now jack into the blackboard, huh? You know, now that I think about this, and I'll explain in just a minute. All right, everyone, good luck. Now that I think about this, if you know about um, Mega Man Star Force, which is basically the continuation, if you at least in the Mega Man timeline, because this is technically on a different timeline than the classic series, but if you look at the Mega Man Star Force games, which is supposed to be, I wouldn't really say a continuation of the Battle Network series, but kind of like a whole after thing, is in the first game of both of these, they have a similar scenario to this. And it's in the first game. And also... Well, not really the first thing you come across, it's later in the game for that one, but still, it's kind of weird now that I think about it. Man, math is hard, especially in the morning, huh? Eek, what's that? We will now announce the real goal of our plan to control the net. Lan, this is a World 3 re-education program. The World 3's true plan is to start a war, the end game. Not as interesting as Avengers End Game, though. I'm not going to spoil anything, just in case no one's watched it yet. Although, I'm pretty sure just about everyone that likes that movie watches it, has watched it, or watched it multiple times. Anyway, we will take control of the military net and all other nets. The only cure for this rotten world is deletion. No! Why? Why would they do that? To reach our goals, the World 3 is hiring new staff members. We will begin a new instruction program starting today. Children, study well and become good slaves to the World 3. What? No way, man, not me. Oh no, I can't run my ter turn my terminal off. Hey, the door's locked. Everyone, be calm. Me and Gutspan will stop them. I honestly wonder how they expected this plan to go, because eventually, someone, at least an adult or something, would eventually bust into the school and, you know, shut the whole thing down. Lan, I know how you feel, really, but you better let me handle this one. It's not gonna go well, is it? Check it out, me and Gutsman are the bomb! Dex, I don't think you'll be able to do it alone. Let's go, Gutsman. Maybe you should let Lan... Quiet, I'm trying to concentrate. Jack in MegaMan.exe, go! Hear this virus come, yeah, yeah, whoa, hey, what the, hey, ah, yipes, help! Blam! They got him. 
Dex, do you have a backup? Yeah, that's a relief. Okay, Lan, you're up. Show us your stuff. Lan, please. Let's do it, Lan. Okay, fine, fine. Mega Man, let's go for it. And if we talk to Dex... Urgh. Yeah, he's kind of annoyed. But we also can talk to Melu. Mail. I, for some reason, I keep trying to try to call her Melu, which is her name in the anime. Like with what I brought up when we fought Fireman, who was known as Torchman. They changed a bunch of names for the anime, which I don't know why. But I'm kind of going off into a rant mode right now, so I'm going to try and stop myself. But anyway, don't be too hard on Mega Man. He's one of your friends, too. If you want, you can bring my Navi Roll with you. I'm sure she can help out, Mega Man. And we got a new battle chip. Put it in your folder to use Roll during battle. And I actually will do that, because... Even though it does not mesh well at all, it's at least a half-decent chip. So, yeah. And since we're going into the network area, I should bring up is that starting now, I'm going to be cutting away any of the random battles. Unless we get into a fight with a new enemy, I'll try and keep track of that as best I can, but I can't guarantee it. So, yeah. You know, I'm trying to think about this, but on the second hand, it might just be easier not to do that. I don't know. I'm going to do it for this episode, at least, and if you guys can let me know what you prefer, it'll be a little bit helpful. Anyway, the net looks so different. The World 3 must have done this. We'll have to fix the net later, Mega Man. First, let's find the program locking the doors. Roger. And if we talk to him, going de down from here, you'll see the door lock. Normally, you can't get there easily. Currently, there are breaks in the network. So, yeah... But for this new network area, it shouldn't be too hard to get through, so... Yeah. Oh, we got a virus. Oh, and it's actually a new one this time around. We have the Quake viruses. What they'll do is they'll hop around their battlefield until they eventually pop up above you and try to crush you, but they're incredibly slow and can also crack the panels, so... Yeah, when you have multiple of them on the screen, they can get a little hectic, and I want to get that program... Okay, yeah, I can. Want to make sure? Ah. Okay, with that taken care of, we got a Quake 1A. But, as long as we keep moving Shockwave L, that's not going to help me all that much, but I'll still take what I can get. Okay, there's going to be viruses all over the place. <laughs> Oh dear, this is gonna take some time. Do you want to go to the lock? Yes. Sometimes the long way is the shortest. No? Well, I mean in this case technically it would be because, you know, you can't really get there the faster way, but, you know, whatever. We got a fun gimmick to deal with, which isn't gonna be that bad, but eventually it kind of gets annoying. Oh, and we got a new virus. The invisible enemies? I don't know, they won't stay in the same row as you, so they're pretty rough to attack. Dang it. What I'm trying to do is get them to where I can get it, to where he'll hit that, because they don't stay in the same one. They're like the... What's it called? Uh, the fire tower guys back in the oven network. But eventually, like he did earlier, he'll eventually jump in front of you after you bait him enough. I wouldn't say bait, but just have him jump around enough. And the stronger they are, the faster they'll come at you. But yeah, eventually he'll try to just get you, but he only hits the one panel. So you don't have to worry too much about him getting you, as long as you're fast enough and pay attention to when they disappear. Alright, moving on to this area. We got the weird pencil things. But pencils sharpen forward, so this kind of doesn't make sense. Why aren't they erasers? This door is passcode protected. Door will not open without proper authorization. Passcode hint. Number of chairs in 5A. You have to enter a passcode, huh? Lynn, how many chairs are in the classroom for 5A? Hang on, I'll go check. When you find out, hit the L button, then I'll input the passcode. Well, I already know that there are nine, so that's all we have to do. And it opens the door. Great. All right, let's get moving. I kind of skipped past the dialogue there because I was just kind of holding down the B button. Okay, I am noticing how much I am actually going to get cut off by these viruses. What do you say? The viruses have started the re-education program. Wiped out most of the programs around here. Well, that ain't good. At the same time, I don't really see what's really too horrible about this situation. Okay, and we got Zenny for that fight. Actually, something I wanted to bring up is when we go into this is Dex tries to be like the hero type. And, oh, we got a high cannon eye, but I can't really use that because my regular battle chips will be just fine. Dang it. Oh, we got a new one. 
a tank, a beetle tank? I can't remember the name for it. But basically what he'll do is he'll walk around these panels and eventually try to hit you. And he doesn't move back and forth. He just keeps like jumping up and down and eventually shooting those in a wide shot. So if it hits the center panel, it'll just keep going. Or not keep going, but it'll hit like all three in that row. So you gotta be mindful of that. That's the wrong way. But something I wanted to bring up is when we first start this, is you noticed how everyone was like, oh, land should take care of it instead of decks. Well, to me, at least since this is up. Okay, so as I was saying, if you notice how everyone was like, land should handle this, I control the library of book flow and data, but I have been badly damaged by World 3. Please repair the damage to the network. But anyway, I'm gonna just talk real quick because, well, the door's right here. Library data locked for data preservation. Code entry required. Hint, number of volumes of history in the world. Land. So I need to find out how many volumes of history of the world there are, right? Okay, I'll be right back. Call me when you know when the yell button. Now, anyway, as I was saying for like the fifth time now of me trying to say this, is everyone says that land should take care of it, but in the first game it kind of doesn't make sense because, okay, there are 30 volumes of history. Because, like, in the first game, he's not really, you know, known for taking down, like, World 3 or other of the bad guys around. So it kind of doesn't make sense why everyone's like, Land and Mega Man should take care of this, not Dex. It's like, anyone who's, you know, at least decent should give it a shot, not just the main character. I mean, I get why, because we're a main character. The door is protected by a passcode. Alright, what do we need here? Okay, we don't have a hint. What? No hint? Well, let's just try anything. Okay, now when this happens, and this is when it gets annoying, just stick them both at 5. And it'll tell you passcode digit, passcode too high, second digit, verification failure. So that means this one here is too high, so we'll set it to 53. Passcode too low. Okay, that basically just tells me it's 54. So yeah, eventually, but eventually it will reset and you'll have to try that again from the beginning without what you already know. So you basically have to just like reset the whole thing if you try it too many times. And what do you think? Normally you can get to the teacher's lounge server just by going up and to the right. But now this, there are several breaks in the network. Yeah, it's not fun. But yeah, like I was saying, is it makes sense in later games, and oh dear, there's two of them. Okay, passcode... Okay, yeah, we start getting none. But yeah, it makes sense in like later games, and that is 54, not 55. It makes sense in the later games because, you know... I was paying attention to that shoot. Let's see. Okay, the first one's too low. Put it to seven. Passcode too low, second digit. Okay, roll it 77, too low, second digit, try 8, okay, there we go. And keep in mind, these aren't going to be the same, wait, did you just, did you know that you can check in at any blackboard? Cool, but I will say, ooh, more, more health, that'll be helpful. That's kind of why I explore everything. But yeah, anyway, like I was saying, that's why I like to explore everything, because you never know what you might find in like any area. Wait, what? Land, please go check. What am I checking? Did you count the doors in the school? Oh. I believe it's 15. Let's see. One, and then there's the four, isn't it? Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six. I believe it's 15, but I don't want to just input it and be wrong. Seven, eight, nine, ten, there's one down there, so that would be eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and this one counts as one, so yeah, I'm right, fifteen. Watch it not count properly. Okay, yeah, I was right, it's fifteen. I'm smart and can remember things with my brain since the last time I played through this section. It has, though, been a while. I'm, like... Whenever I come back to this, it's usually just to fight the final boss in a complete save file, though. And I realize I'm talking through a virus battle, but you know, it's it's fine. It's 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 somewhat fine. But I did not want to get cut off, at least this time. I will not let you cut me off again! Well, at least I'm gonna try to, but random battles and all that, so... Having one shouldn't be too bad. Okay, we got Spreader H. That's actually... Not bad, but not amazing. I need stuff that has like the same code, because without it, I'm gonna be having a lot of trouble like I did at the start, if you had noticed. Oh, we got new viruses. We got handies. What they do is they'll drop to the front of your, to the front of theirs and drop bombs on the front of your panels, so it'll cause a time bomb to go off and blow everything up after a countdown of three seconds. 
and then they run away. Right. So they're harder to hit. But as long as you're fast enough and you can take out the bombs, once you upgrade your Mega Buster to full though, you can shoot those things down like there's like nothing. It's awesome. Or you could just use a charge shot. Okay, as I was saying, you could just use a charge shot. Okay, we got a split here. I believe the top. Okay, as I said, I believe the one at the top. Yeah, that one's the one that leads to where you need to go. Oh dear. Ah! Whoa! Let land. What's wrong? S sorry, I'm stuck in a trap. I I can't move. Where are you? Near the AV room. Sorry. Don't worry. I'll check it out. Isn't the AV room like right? Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Snort. Wait! Huh? What's going on? Yeah, Higsby's a little strange. Okay, it's one of these. Power's off. Uh, I think it's you? The computer's memory is full, so it is frozen up. Do you want to try and restart it? Sure, the computer is fixed. I don't see how that would fix it, but okay. Land, thanks. Told you I'd get you out. Now, honestly, restarting the computer when its memory is full doesn't make much sense, but... Okay, so now that I've dealt with that, what do we have over here? Something good? Quake 1A. Guess not, but oh well. I'm probably gonna end up coming back to this area just to grind stuff out. This door is passcode protected. The door will not open with proper authorization. No hint. Okay. Just do the 55 trick. Let's see. Passcode, passcode denied. Low. Passcode too low. Okay. So I'll put it 75. Passcode too low. Really? 85? Okay, 95? Passcode too high, second digit. Okay, 93. Passcode too high. Okay, I think I've got like one more shot at this. 91, thank you! It was either 91 or 92. I had a 50 50 shot and I managed to take it. Okay, after dealing with that, we should be closing in on the end. Yep. You, you can see him. Well, his feet. Alright, come on, we're closing in on the boss, so... Okay, there's nothing there, let's see. Lan, it looks like the lock is linked with something else. You'll need to go find an ID card for verification. I'll bet that Miss Mari has an ID card. So now we gotta go find her. But well, we were told that she was in the nurse's office. Hello. Me? I hope... I'm a first grader. Hope everyone is okay. Well then. Odd. Well, let's go to where she is actually... stuck. I guess, I would say. Let's see. Come in here and- oh, hi! Oof, oof. Help me! Help her? <laughs> no. Oof, oof. Lynn, help me! <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to do that at least once, and I almost did it again. Lynn helps Miss Mari. It's like, your teacher's bound and gagged, and they give you the no option. Thank you, I can't believe that guy, Higsby. My ID card? Sure, as thanks for saving me. Lynn got school ID. Please, try to help everyone. And if we check- this drawer here, there's something shiny towards the back. Got an HP memory. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, okay. Do I need to... Yes, I do. Okay. We need to input it over here. Time recorded. You need an ID card. Then use ID card and it worked. Mega Man, the server is just beyond the lock. But be careful. Okay. And I don't think it opens up. We just have to... Yeah. We have to do another one of these. I don't know why they... What? No. I don't know what button I pressed to do that, but I believe it was B. Let's see. Too high. Okay. I don't know why they wouldn't just, you know... Okay, too low. 45. Come on. Too low. Second digit. Do 47. Too low. 49. Thank you. Okay, and we just end up at the boss right as soon as we get through that. But seriously, why wouldn't they just, like, you know, ID card and then good, you're through. I didn't think you'd make it this far. We've got to stop the announcement program quick. But being a World 3 slave is fun, isn't it, Mr. Higsby? Yes, with my new World 3 salary, I can buy lots of rare chips. I knew it. You call yourself a teacher. Heh. <laughs> I did it. I, I did feel a little bad at first, huh? Mr. Higsby. Yes, but then I knew I'd do anything for rare chips. Huh. Who needs rare chips bought with World 3's dirty money? Huh? Silence. Now you face me in number man. No problem. Let's go, Mega Man Battle Routine set. Execute. So now we are fighting number man. Uh, he's not very threatening. Sorry to say, but all he does is spawn these 
balls that have numbers on them, and then you have to do like a corresponding amount of damage to them before they'll go away. But if you can't put enough damage on them, then you're gonna get hit. So, yeah, just try to go for the one that has like the least amount of ones, like the four that's there. Or if you have attacks like I do, where you can just like blast straight through them and take them out, go for that too. It works wonders. Oh, we have the roll chip, but I'm not gonna use that because I've got like much better stuff on my side. So, oh, and he's got his doom dice. How does that explode again? Okay, yeah, it just goes through a line. That's how time bombs work in this game, though. Normally in later games they fix it so it's an undodgeable attack rather than a easy to dodge one. Then he's got regular time bombs, but I've already finished them off. Could've used a roll chip there, but I didn't think about it. And we get 1500 zenny. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, good, good, good. See, you've been wrong all along. Gua, go, go, what? Let's see you and your rare chips now. Sniff, sniff, Lan, I think he gets it now. I'm right, aren't I? It's true, Lan is right. I should collect chips by virus busting. Snort. <laughs> I promise I'll be good now. I promise. Trade me chips sometime? Sure. Why not? But you do have to pay for your crimes, so you better do something to help everyone out, okay? Land, restart the server and put it the net back to normal. Okay. And... Why wouldn't the teachers be doing that? I don't know. Bleep. Wee. Bleep. Wee. I don't really know how to make computer noises. Mail, how's it looking? Land, the announcement program stopped. You did it! Hey, not bad, Land. Not bad, you mean great. Yeah, well, you ain't seen nothing yet, Mega Man. What? Good job. Don't relax just yet, Land. You got English class coming up. Aw, oh, man. I fixed the server too soon. After class? Whew. Rough day today, huh? Ah. What? Today wasn't... Ah, oh, the Metro Line's opening today. Hey, let's surprise your dad down at Scilab. And we could pick up the power-up program for me. Good idea. Well, we'll actually be doing that in the next episode because, well, I think this one's been going on for a little while. At least for me. I don't know how this is going to turn out after I edit it, but yeah, it should be a decent time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And now that we've saved the school from the education program, we can now head off to Scilab in the next episode and go get that power-up program for Mega Man and, well, get powered up. Don't really, really know how to segue off of that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Later!